I did not have high expectations for this film, but it was insane. I love sport movies, and the idea of making a racing movie already placed this above par. I was literally on the edge of my seat for 80% of this film. Gran Turismo truly is a standout of the summer. You would think that the movie would just be about the contest, but it goes beyond that. It's such a unique way to tell a video game story. It isn't a video game movie, it's a movie first that happens to use a video game as the catalyst for everything you see on screen. I don't think the trailer did it justice because I really love this movie. I'm a sucker for emotional tales. The start of this movie seemed a little slow, but once it gets started, it doesn't let up. Every setup pays off after the first act. They have a lot of establishing shots to showcase real world international locations. Once the real races get started, it's race after race after race, and it keeps your heart pounding the entire time. I've never seen a racing movie that felt so real. Every race had a story within the story. It made me more pumped for the summer break to end and Formula One to come back this weekend. The film is rooted in the story of a top ranked Gran Turismo gamer being recruited to race an actual car and his adjustment from virtual racing to the real thing. And I think that's why I really gelled with it. While it was a Gran Turismo biopic in reality, it was something else. A powerful and super fun sports movie. I really love the usage of the Le Mans 24 hour race at the finale. It's possibly one of the most intelligent ticking clock storytelling mechanisms that is possible and they do really well with it in my opinion. Overall, just a great storyline. Archie Madakwe is an actor who I've seen previously in Midsommar and if I'm being truly honest, he didn't really make that much of an impression on me there. Thankfully, however, he's phenomenal here. I really like the setup of this film with him being the top gamer who has chosen to take part in the GT Academy and his relationship with his disapproving father who himself was excellent. He really sells the massive highs and crushing lows his character goes through in the film and he has great chemistry with both his family members and his mentor David Harbour. Harbour is as the gruff and quiet mentors overseeing the GT Academy competition. What I liked about Harbour's role here is that while yes, He's playing a grumpy asshole, he's giving it a reason to be, and there's a really interesting character development with him as it pertains to Little Mon's 24 hour race that allows him to showcase its acting abilities, which in turn helps our lead find the confidence to start racing again. Neil Blomkamp has easily directed his best film since District 9, which my mother absolutely loved. The story is amazing, very heartwarming, while the racing sequences are some of the best, most memorizing I've seen on screen, reminded me a lot of Ford vs Ferrari or Rush, yet visually surpassing it. The visual effects are incredible, especially when illustrating the inner workings of the vehicle, I was blown away. The sound design is perfect, the editing, the cinematography, the music, I really appreciated everything they offered here. With its blend of personal narrative and the captivating allure of motorsport, Gran Turismo stands as a testament to the transformative power of opportunities arising from the intersection of gaming and reality. It serves as an inspiring reminder that talent can emerge from unexpected sources and that the realm of virtual competition can indeed be a stepping stone to tangible achievement. It is by far the most surprising film I've seen this year. I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. Go see it for yourselves and experience the action. It's part of the game, it's called racing. But I won't stop now. If you miss a line in the game, you reset. You miss it on the track, you could die. I know this track. Because I can't stop now. I've raced it a thousand times. That's what I'm talking about. Tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing the scripts for my movie essays. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.